five speed spoons. Troll them, cast them, or jig them. If you want to get aggressive with trout, get a set of Kel Kellogg speed spoons and get your fish on. Available at the fishhuntshoot.com website. Oh, oh, fish on, fish on, right there, fish on. Whacked. Come here, Jake. Oh, this is, a, this is a real one. Come over here. That's a nice fish. Hey, the other one popped up. too. Just fight him, Jake. Okay. Take your time. Real nice <laughs> and easy, Jake. Real nice yep, and easy. Yep. That's a good fish. Take your time. I'm not reeling anything right now. It's okay. Just keep your tip up and keep working that reel. Keep your tip up. I got 60 feet on him. You're good. Just nice. A nice steady grind. You want to make sure your tip stays loaded against the fish and you're good. No matter what happens, you keep reeling. He may jump, he may run, he may be big, you don't know. Over here, tip over here, right over my head. Reel, 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 keep reeling. Keep, keep reeling. reeling. There we go! Nice! Nice, Boom. nice fish! <laughs> nice fish, Jay. On the silver speed spoon. Whoa, that's a fantastic king. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Full from Lake, baby. They are biting today. Nice fish, man. Oh, no Is there? Looks I don't like know it. Yeah. Right here. Good job. I got it. You are on fire, Jake. On the speed spoon. Good job. Nice. Oh, he's fighting. That might be another good one. Good job, man. Nice and slow. Keep reeling. Right over here. Really close. Got him to me. There he is. Number four. Sweet. Sweet. Now, Jake, here's that bait we've been seeing. That's a pond smelt. That fish just spit that up. And it's a pretty close match. And I think this pond smelt here, I think we got a couple different size classes down there because I saw some bigger ones spit up behind the boat. But uh, that's what they're eating, so. We, we were on the pattern. Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. Um, I was out at Folsom Lake yesterday. We had a really good outing from our patio boat uh, chasing king salmon with spoons. And you know, Folsom is one of the only lakes that has a reputation of being, you know, a good king salmon producer for guys that power troll with spoons. But the fact of the matter is that power trolling with spoons will work just about anywhere kings swim. Um, I put some of the pictures that we took yesterday and we, when we were out there, we were using copper speed spoons and silver hammered speed spoons. This is a gold one. I, my, my copper and my chrome ones are in the garage. But the, the chrome was by far the best, but we did catch a couple fish on the copper too. And you know, I put some of the pictures out on social media and shot out some text messages and stuff. And uh, the response I got was a lot of guys were surprised that, that we did as well as we did while power trolling. And if you've been watching the channel long, you know my philosophy when it comes to trout fishing is to start off fast, start off aggressive, and only slow down when you have to. I think too many people hit our King Salmon Lakes, whether it's Shasta or Oroville, Don Pedro, or even Folsom, and they start off slow. They'll get out the hoochies and blades, they'll get out the rigged bait, they'll troll at, you know, one and a half miles an hour, and sometimes that works. But I think, you know, you are, you are way ahead of the game if you start out power trolling and kind of use it as, a, as an opportunity to kind of troll and scout at the same time. Cover as much water as possible. Those kings are aggressive. They want to chase down either a pond smell or a threadfin shad, they expect that minnow to be trying to get away from them. And if you go out there and you power troll first thing in the morning or you know during the, the first hour or so of your trip, regardless of when you get on the water, um, you're, you're gonna be able to sort out the areas that are holding fish. And I almost guarantee you're gonna catch fish you know, right away when you encounter some fish and you may not ever have to slow down. 
that was the case yesterday. We tried slowing down after we'd caught several fish on the spoons. They weren't having it. They wouldn't hit a hoochie behind a blade. They wouldn't even hit a rig shad for me. And uh, I, I pride myself uh, on being a pretty good shad roller, but they wanted no part of it. We went back to the, the speed spoons and we immediately started getting hit again. So they wanted that fast presentation. We were pulling our spoons anywhere from 50 to 60 feet deep, right at 2.7 miles an hour. So we were moving along at a pretty good clip. I was on the downriggers. If we saw fish deeper, I'd drop on them. If I saw fish shallower, I, I'd shorten up on them. And uh, we did pick up some of those marks, but bottom line is we started aggressive and that aggressive pattern just went on throughout the day. So it doesn't really matter. You know, I love my speed spoons. I think they're superior to a speedy shiner because they're more versatile, they're heavier. You can cast them, you can jig them, you can troll them. But you know, any kind of spoon is gonna work that you control fast. You could pull a half ounce humdinger just like that. You could pull a crocodile. You could pull a speedy shiner. Whatever it is, you just need to be pulling a spoon that you could pull in that two and a half to three mile an hour range, something that you can get out on the water with, play with some depths, cover some ground. Sometimes you're gonna find those kings in open water adjacent to bait. Other times you're gonna find those kings stacked up against structure. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to find them at all, but you're gonna have to work structural features at a depth where you think the water temperature's right. It's kind of blind trolling, trolling on faith, but you start working those areas and you are gonna find kings that are in the mood to feed that have moved up on that structure. You might not be marking a bunch of fish, you might not be marking any fish, but you can catch them. Bottom line is this, if you want to get into king salmon fishing, you know, landlocked king fishing, we're kind of getting to the end of the season now, but kind of, kind of put this in your, in your memory bank. Whenever you go out and you're thinking kings, put on those spoons, troll aggressively, cover some water, find some fish. If you find fish that won't go on the spoons or they are going on the spoons for a while and then the bite slows down, you can always get out the dodgers, get out the hoochies, get out the rig bait and work that area where you know fish are holding at a depth that you, you, know, you know they're holding at, but uh, you will be ahead of the game if you start out fast and cover a maximum amount of ground. I'm Kel Kellogg. I hope that tip helps you guys catch king salmon. That is the number one question I get from trollers. Landlocked kings are not easy to catch for most people, and I think, honestly, they think about it too much. The keys are start off fast, cover ground, slow down if you have to, and always keep your bait above the salmon's head. And this is one of my tips that I found true for me. I have a really hard time getting those super deep fish to go. And I think a lot of the time when we mark those salmon super deep, they are inactive. Um, if you find you know, salmon above the main body of the rest of the salmon, you can almost bet that those fish are up there and they're feeding. If you find them on structure, those fish are feeding. And that's why I catch a lot of kings when I'm just blind trolling structure where I'm seeing no, no marks. There might only be a handful of fish up there looking to feed, but guess what? I put my bait in that zone. They're very sensitive to the environment. They can sense that downrigger ball. They can sense that spoon. They're gonna home, home in on it if they're in a mood to feed, if they're in a mood to chase. And guess what? I'm gonna pull fish off those banks where I'm not seeing anything except the fish at the end of my line. Anyway, put this stuff to use out on the water. I think it's gonna help you. I'm Kel Kellogg. I gotta go grocery shopping, man. I am out of here for now, but I will catch you tomorrow right here on YouTube. And if you're looking for speed spoons or any of the other tackle you see me using here on the channel, you know where to go. Fishhuntshootproductions.com. That's where my store is located. I'm Kel Kellogg. You have a great day, and I will catch you later on.